Welcome back, family and friends, gamers and cat lovers. I'm back again this week to talk about Monster Hunter World. And this week, I want to explore something about Monster Hunter World that has perplexed me since the first time I unlocked the Elder Dragon Hunts. Where are some of the Elder Dragon weapons from the past? Like the Teostra Greatsword and Hammer, or the Kushala Deora Hunting Horn or Switch Axe. Don't these look awesome? It's weird because the Nergigante, Lunastra, Valhazak, and Valkana all have weapons you can craft in each weapon class. But somehow, the Deora and Teostra got left out. It's left me wondering if we'll ever see them again. Perhaps they'll introduce them on some special hunt like how they did with the Raging Brachydeos and Furious Rajang. Maybe we'll get an Everflame Teostra and a Wildstorm Kushalador or something like that and we'll finally get the full weapon set for both of these monsters. I hope it's on Capcom's to-do list or maybe at least they can hopefully explain why they left these out because it's just really weird to me. They didn't even get the ones with the boner iron base and the monster's parts layered on top of it, like how they did at least with some of the Valhazak weapons. What's also weird is when they reintroduced the Lanastra, not only did she get a weapon for each class, there were three variants for each, but they left out these super cool weapons for the Teostra and Deora. And now that I mention the Deora, this may be an unpopular opinion, but I think the Deora weapons should lose the ice element and become powerful non-elemental weapons. They introduced the Deora on the snowy mountain map or in the jungle map. But anyway, we haven't hunted a Deora on an ice map since generations. And since then, we've now gotten the Velcana, the new flagship ice dragon. So I think the Deora would fit nicely as a non-elemental dragon weapon set. And speaking of non-elemental weapons, that's another mystery about Monster Hunter World I'm going to ponder about. Where are all the cool non-elemental weapons from Monster Hunter's past, like the Siglinde, Sigmund, or Diablo Destroyer? Monster Hunter games of the past used to have loads of non-elemental weapons you could choose from, and I used to be particularly fond of these for multi-monster hunts. But I suppose it's a bit moot now since we can always go back to camp and change our equipment. But I still miss a lot of these designs, and I hope they make a comeback to the game at least as a layered option. I mean, I know that defeats the point, I really just would like to have them as non-elemental weapons. Perhaps Capcom will deliver on this in the future. Matter of fact, I actually believe they will. I remember when I completed my first Zeno Jiva hunt, and I thought these weapon designs were a bit lazy. But then I caught a glimpse of Capcom's true vision. After we hunted the true form of Zeno Jiva, Safi Jiva, we got these really awesome weapon designs. So I think Capcom's in this for the long haul. We're going to get more unique missions with some of our old favorite monsters and be able to create a lot of our old favorite weapons or unique weapon designs. What do you guys think? If you're a Monster Hunter veteran, what weapons do you miss? Or if you're new to Monster Hunter World, what did you think of some of these old weapons from Monster Hunter's past? Let us know. I love talking about Monster Hunter. And until next time, I'd like to say thanks for watching. And also, I know there's several new subscribers Thanks for subscribing.